Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Olympic boxer Emane Khalif has called for an end to bullying athletes after becoming a hot topic at the 2024 Paris Olympics following misconceptions about her gender. Describing the wave of hateful scrutiny she has faced while competing in France as harmful to human dignity, the Algerian athlete opened up about her tumultuous Olympic experience on Sunday night. I send a message to all the people of the world to uphold the Olympic principles and the Olympic Charter, to refrain from bullying all athletes, because this has effects, massive effects, Khalif said in Arabic to SNTV. It can destroy people, it can kill people's thoughts, spirit and mind. It can divide people. And because of that, I ask them to refrain from bullying. The victories of Khalif and fellow boxer Lin Yuting, of Taiwan, have become one of the biggest stories of the Paris Games. Both women have clinched their first Olympic medals even as they have faced online abuse based on unsubstantiated claims about their gender, drawing them into a wider divide over changing attitudes toward gender identity and regulations in sports. Algerian boxer Emane Khalif is facing questions over her gender ahead of her semi-final bout. The 25-year-old Khalif acknowledged the pressure and pain of enduring this ordeal while competing far from home in the most important event of her athletic career. I am in contact with my family two days a week. I hope that they weren't affected deeply, she said. They are worried about me. God willing, this crisis will culminate in a gold medal, and that would be the best response. The vitriol stems from claims by the International Boxing Association, which has been permanently banned from the Olympics that both Khalif and Lin failed unspecified eligibility tests for the women's competition at last year's world championships. Khalif declined to answer when asked whether she had undergone tests other than doping tests, saying she didn't want to talk about it. She expressed gratitude to the International Olympic Committee and its president, Thomas Bach, for standing resolutely behind her while the banned former governing body of Olympic boxing stoked a furor around her participation in Paris. I know that the Olympic Committee has done me justice, and I am happy with this remedy because it shows the truth, she said. She also has seen massive support at her bouts, drawing cheers when she enters the arena and crowds waving Algerian flags chanting her first name. She will fight again Tuesday in the women's 66kg semifinals at Roland Garros. Khalif repeatedly made clear she won't allow chatter or accusations to deter her from attempting to claim Algeria's first Olympic gold medal in women's boxing. I don't care about anyone's opinion. Khalif said a day after beating Anna Luka Hamori of Hungary. I came here for a medal, and to compete for a medal. I will certainly be competing to improve, and, be better, and God willing, I will improve, like every other athlete. Although she is aware of the worldwide discussion about her, Khalif said she has been somewhat removed. Honestly, I don't follow social media, she said. There is a mental health team that doesn't let us follow social media, especially in the Olympic Games whether me or other athletes. I'm here to compete and get a good result. Khalif started her Olympic run last Thursday with a victory over Angela Carini of Italy, who abandoned the bout after just 46 seconds. Carini later said she regretted her decision and wished to apologize to Khalif. That unusual ending raised the chatter around Khalif into a roar, drawing comments from the likes of former U.S. President Donald Trump, Harry Potter, writer J.K. Rowling and others falsely claiming Khalif was a man or transgender. The IOC repeatedly declared her and Lynn qualified to participate in the Olympics, and it has decried the murky testing standards and untransparent governance of the IBA, which was banished entirely from the Olympics last year in an unprecedented punishment for a governing body. Khalif clearly felt the weight of the worldwide scrutiny upon her, and her victory over Hamori on Saturday appeared to be cathartic. After the referee raised Khalif's hand with the win, she went to the center of the ring, waved to her fans, knelt and slammed her palm on the canvas, her smile turning to tears. I couldn't control my nerves, Khalif said in the interview.